Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to show you this really cool app called Flyperlink. This app replaces the Android System Web View app. That's the default system for opening external links when you're in an application. The default system kind of sucks. It's really intrusive and puts an immediate halt to whatever you're doing. It brings up this full screen watered down version of the Chrome browser. And you really don't have any customization options to make it look less terrible. So anyways, we're going to fix that and replace it by downloading this Flyperlink app. Alright, so grab your smartphone. What the? Okay, so grab your smartphone and check out the link in the description to the Flyperlink Play Store thing, location. Uh, download the app and open it, and this is just going to be the setup process. You're just going to tap on this Twitter link here so that you can set Flyperlink as your default browser for in-app links. And you're going to want to hit Always. Over on the right side, you see the little icon pop up and you can tap on that and you'll see it will open up this little Twitter link here in a window, a floating window. Then you can just drag that down to the trash can. Go through here, hit finish, finish, and then you're done. All right, so now we're going to test it out on Twitter. Here's that link that I was looking at before. I'll tap that and there you have it. Instead of bringing up that full screen uh, web viewer thing, you now have this little icon on the left side here. I'll tap that. This is much better than the default browser that it comes with. So anyways, yeah, that's how it works. And then when you're done, you can drag it down to the trash can and it's closed. All right, so let's see how this looks in another situation. I'm going to open up Maps and here I've got an address pulled up. You'll see that they've got a link for their website here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and I'm going to select Flyperlink as my default. And then you'll see while that web page is loading on the left there, I can continue to use the app as normal. It's not going to interrupt me. It's not going to force pop up or anything like that. And then when I'm ready, I can go ahead and tap that icon and bring up the uh, browser in the window there. What the hell? Is that seriously what Chuck E. Cheese looks like these days? Ah. Now if you want to use some of the mini customization features, you'll upgrade to the paid version of the app, which was under $2. That was a no-brainer for me. The first feature here lets you choose between full screen and pop-up mode. The pop-up mode lets you resize the screen once you've opened it up. So we're going to go ahead and choose that. And the other feature that I'd like to enable is ad block. This will block any of the ads that are typically shown within the Flyperlink browser. But seriously, why did they change Chuck E. Cheese? He used to be this giant animatronic beast that would stand up on stage and tap his robot foot. I stuck my fingers under his foot one time and it almost broke all of my knuckles. Now they turn him into some sort of Nickelodeon garbage. Make some noise for Chucky e. Cheese! Go to hell, you stupid rat. Thank you, thank you. What an introduction. You guys are awesome. Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese's. The no and we'll go ahead and test out this pop-up mode. So I'll click a link on Twitter, which brings up Flyper Link. And now I can resize the browser window to be whatever size that I want. Everything still works really smoothly. You can zoom in and out and have all of your features like that. So yeah, that's Flyperlink. It's a great alternative to the system web view, and it's got some great customization features that I think you guys will like. Anyways, if you guys like this video, then do me a favor and fist that like button as hard as you can. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you next time.